Yo, so happy Friday. Look, it's nice and cloudy and dreary, but uh, I've been up for a while though. Sun goes down all the way like at five. Uh, last night was extremely rough, extremely rough. Uh, headaches, um, what you've seen, and uh, physically I'm just extremely bogged down. Um, just don't feel like moving. Don't feel well. My stomach's kind of, kind of icky, you know. Uh, I did eat a piece of salmon though, and that will help. Definitely, I love salmon. Salmon, my favorite meat on the planet. But just trying to break away and give everything a break. Uh, I did just edit and upload day 573 Thanksgiving Madness 2016. Um, but I'm just, I just need to take a break from everything. Probably gonna watch a couple movies right now and maybe go to the movies tonight. I just need to chill. I need me time. I need to nurse myself back to health. I'm down. Yeah. A lot of the stress and anxiety and all that stuff from, I'm not even gonna mention the name or nothing like that, but a lot of that has a ton to do with it. A ton. And I just need to take a break from it again for a few days anyway. I'm, I can't just keep letting it go on, but, uh, but I just need to take a break from the whole situation for a couple of days and just kind of get back to myself and get focused and get much, much needed positive energy in, in, my, uh, in my head and body. <laughs> Yo, so what else would I do? But go to the gas station. <laughs> it's like one o'clock, one a.m. Just trying to recover, trying to physically get back to the place I need to be, and uh, mentally try to get to the place where I need to be. Um, I tell you, man, and I, you know, I knew like last while. Those times I was like, man, devil, why am I vlogging, you know? Uh, so now, I mean, this year, absolutely, I'm kind of getting in the same place. This year seems a little wolves. Uh, just absolutely nothing going on. Uh, my life is just... Uh, this is what happens, man. In the winter time, I just kind of fall flat on my face. Um, it's sad, you know. It's just uh, nobody is doing it. I don't know, man. This is just crazy. I have not. I need interaction with people. And I just haven't been able to do anything. Oh, man. This is bad. I mean, it's. That's what I'm saying. It's pointless to even vlog right now. Uh, it makes me just not want to do it daily for a while or something. But, but you know, the whole point is to video through struggles and so I can look back and be like, man, look how far I've come. Because I tell you, compare summertime to now with me. I mean, I've just kind of fallen apart. Uh, I don't know. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, I was leaving the gas station, uh, just trying to get in the right mindset. Um, just in a horrible mindset, and this happens in winter sometimes. The thing, I don't know. This all this stuff just sucks the life out of me. On top of that, and. And I just, I, I don't understand society sometimes. I just, just don't, uh, just feel like giving up. That's, that's just all it was to it. I, I, I don't understand how something can be so clear cut. And something that goes against everything a 
about a corporation and things get torn on me blows my mind I mean I'm already down because of the one all time I mean you know but I was feeling good enough to you know try to resolve the issue with Walmart and uh, now this is well and knock me down my health is falling apart because of it I don't even feel like moving I mean it's physically warming out um, and I, I just I just don't understand. I, I just do not understand. And getting threatened to be trespassed two times is unbelievable because I've complied with what they've told me the last time they threatened to trespass me, but I don't even think they should have done that the first time. But the second time, I listened to them. I don't know. I'm just saying on. I just want to touch up on another thing too. Um, when you have anxiety, the thing about anxiety that makes it anxiety is you. F it's it's irrational feels what it is. Meaning you worry about you worry about the craziest stuff that will never happen. Okay, and so back in 2008 when I got hit with with uh, anxiety for the first time, like I talked to you guys about, um, you know, it took me about a year to get past it and get pretty much 90, 95% back to normal. Uh, and then I, you know, in 2014 it hit me again uh, a little bit not as bad but once you get it it's a daily battle I mean you still have to kind of keep up on it Main, you know maintain your good positive thoughts well for a few years I mean for some people do it for years you, you battle saying hey your actual feels crazy uh, some of my your actual feels was and I tell you, I traveled, listen to this, I travel, I flew all by myself, I flew, uh, I hiked up the Rocky Mountains all by myself, um, loved it, uh, I travel, I, I lived away from home, away from my hometown all by myself, uh, you know, I'm very social person, but when I first got hit in 2008 with anxiety, I was a... I, was, uh, I came back here, I was afraid to even go up to Fort Wayne and even Walmart, almost, uh, in my hometown here, for a, few, a couple months, two or three months, I was almost a girl-phobic, borderline, um, and some of my feels was, you, you get a sense of doom, you get a sense of doom, like you think of the absolute worst things that could happen in any situation. So going into the store like Walmart, one of my biggest fears was not doing nothing and randomly get attacked or get harassed and falsely accused of stealing or something by a manager or whatever. Well, that's irrational. That's an irrational feel. With the exception, the irrational just happened to me. It's a big deal to me. Big deal. Probably the worst I've ever been treated in my life. How do you let that go? Uh, that's the question. Uh, I, I, I mean, my whole life it is the single one worst thing, worst way I've ever been treated in my life hands down I think well I don't know about hands down but it is so this situation just validates the irrational feel I have so I don't know if that makes sense but it's just insanity so I'm just gonna go in 
watch a movie and uh, chill out. But I'll probably talk to you in a little bit. If not, I guess not. <laughs>